you're still watching ways now you have done well for the past couple of weeks you have stuck to your new year's resolutions but are ready now to give them up whatever your reasons to break your new year resolutions you can do it guilt-free on ditch new year resolution day all right so you ditch those those resolutions and relax stop feeling guilty after you breaking serious? them <laughs> So all your resolutions are meant to be broken today. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. That's not so like which one did you break today? So I don't do New Year resolutions. I just, I, for me, life is a continuum. So you just keep going. And at any time, you can add anything that you want. So life does not end on the 31st of December. It's a continuum. And I have things I didn't fulfill in 2019. How about we go on doing that? <laughs> exactly. So, well, but there's something new I started this year which is losing weight. So I signed up for a fat meltdown program and I'm not giving up. I have to you okay. know, see it to the end. Okay, so did you did you ditch it today? No, not at all. <laughs> We're not ditching nothing. <laughs> uh, so is it, you didn't ditch any goals today? None. Ha, you are too serious, so please. Yeah. Please, Mariam leave and us, my son. Leave us like that. <laughs> <laughs> you are too serious. Leave us like that. You know what, I think it's interesting that, you know, everybody just feels, you know, they just want to have a reason not to do the things they're supposed to do. And you know it's not right, but you still, you're just looking for that excuse. Some people have ditched it before today. So don't worry. <laughs> Right? Yes. <laughs> right, so here's what caught our attention in the news. Who is starting first? I think Isi should go Ify. first. Okay, this has to do with the health sector. Wow, uh, okay. Yes. It, um, uh, what's it called? Um, let's do this. A virologist, who, uh, these are people who actually study um, viruses, mm -hmm. um, found something, um, stated that um, his name is um, Dr. Olabusoye Adewumi. Yeah. He stated that vaccines are best prevent the vaccination is best to prevent um, hepatitis. This is because most Nigerians don't know that they're supposed to go for testing to know that oh we are not um, what's it called we're not um, we don't have hepatitis, hepatitis A and B. Yes, yes. no hepatitis A and B and B. Sorry. Yes, they can do that. Both of them are deadly. And hepatitis B is known as a silent killer. But have, have highly preventable. Highly preventable if they do go for testing. The, the testing and, and then you, you immunize yourself from it. That's the vaccination. That, that's the vaccination. Yes, because the vaccination. I, had, um, I had a nanny at one point yes. when my kids were a lot younger mm -hmm. and she was diagnosed with um, hepatitis. hepatitis B. Yes. So I had to, you know, normally mm -hmm. the routine for a child, you know, that yeah. card, when we take it, hepatitis is part of the vaccines that they take and it, you know? yes yeah. Yeah, but i didn't know that as an adult as well i you can yeah. yeah so i did that a long time ago so you want to tell me that people don't know people don't people know, don't it, know. This, this story actually struck know. me because of the fact that i have a cousin who actually had a help come in to her house and she was hiv positive oh my God. and hepatitis wow. b positive so until she had had the test taken she didn't know which the is very important. Very, that very, very important, important that well. your help or anybody you're bringing to your family should go through the you know the routine medical test. It is very, very, very important. It's very important. I think we're so. very negligent of parents. How can you bring somebody in the house? You will not find out inside the house that the person has hepatitis. You would have, because you do you must do medicals before the person yes, even you comes bring to your the home. person in exactly. Wow. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Yes. I think you have well, a very interesting story for us well, today. Well, so I just thought that, you know, today all of you will be serious. So <laughs> I found something very odd on The Guardian okay. that a man challenged his ex-wife to a sword fight to settle a legal dispute. Ew. Excuse us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the man's name is David Ostrom. He's 40 years old. Is he a Nigerian? No, no, no. This ah, is, this is from the abroad. Nigeria, sword fight. This is from the US. This is from the US. This is from the US. And his reason was that the woman has destroyed him legally, mm -hmm. so he needs to take it out. And in 20, 2016, a judge and Supreme Court justice had said that um, the dwells have not been abolished. Mm -hmm. So the man just stood there and said, okay, if this thing is still valid, please, this is how I want to settle my dispute. And he was asking the court for that. And now the funny part is that he said he would like the lawyer, his um, ex-wife's lawyer, to you know stand on behalf of the wife and you know let them settle because this, so this man has ruined him, him. <laughs> so it was it was really really funny to me but it also just shows how much people hurt 
exactly. and to what extent they're willing to go to just settle the matter. man is frustrated. He is. I say, is this lawyer? I think this he lawyer. to that, that's giving yeah, But I, I think the, the lawyer was like, he should just go for a psychiatric evaluation because he doesn't think he's all right. But, but it was just funny to me. So, so I said, but it's actually, no. Psychological evaluation will not solve so the problem. is actually, you must be mentally stable to, to fight. Bend. And so he's, the, the lawyer's, the lawyer's um, defense, the ex-wife's lawyer saying that the man is not all right for him to even suggest that that's the way he should settle it. <laughs> so it was just funny. And I said, in the midst of everything. Well, it's here, a good funny story. Yes, yeah, so let's just laugh at it. So this. we should start doing sort of fight now, challenge. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay, so for me, so um, a rather sad story. Because um, this keeps happening all the time, and it's, it's, you know, it's almost like we're beginning to sound like a, what was that phrase that we a used? Broken a broken record. Yes, you know, okay. because um, it was gathered that um, there was a building collapse, a two story oh. building collapse, Again. you know, and this um, building collapse, according to the reports in the nation, was that this collapse happened because of structural instability you know <coughs> so the director general of the lagos state emergency agency dr lufemi okay said that no casualty was recorded according to that so we're happy That's a good and one. there was a swift response you know oh. from the okay. team but we keep saying this that you know i'm and i'm so happy that we're discussing because part of our schedule for Where this did month this take place? We're, we're discussing um what's it called the architecture the business of architecture in nigeria and okay. i'm happy about the guests that are coming because we need to really you know what are what are the measures that are put in place in terms of um, buildings? The structure. You know, I remember when we were erecting our structure. You know, <laughs> when my brother-in-law saw the the foundation, he was wondering that. Come, are you taking? Is, is it a story <laughs> building or what is what is it you're building? Because my dad is a builder. You know, so he's very very and he very builds awesome. for. Uh, multinationals. Okay. So you know when you're building for and you have a standard, there has to be a standard. Yes. You know the size of the blocks, the size of the this. You know, so if you're raising the building, there are specific roads. So many things that are put in place. Mm -hmm. So when they are, while they are, because uh, I see a lot of um, this um, the marks on the buildings okay. that by the legal state agencies yes. and all of that. And I keep wondering. So with all these marks, yet we're still recording, you know, um, but I think collapses. The, the, the X um, symbol is to, is, to, the is to stop the structure. But they will go pay some money probably and they be, continue. And it's sometimes very, you know, probably because they've not taken permission from Lagos state government to, to put erect up that structure. The structure. So some of them erect, so that also probably would get a permission the for two story and then erect the four story. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So there has to there has there has to be monitoring that would happen for it. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> that's all we can take on this segment. When we return, we mm -hmm. have Dr. Remy. She will join us after this break. Please stay with us.